My lease ends on Halloween, and I'm thinking of moving out of the smallest apartment in New York City. I've been living here for almost a year, and this is how the place looks now. We've still got our kitchen, sink, fridge, microwave. Still got the pantry stocked with peanut butter. That's a gallon size. Who needs a gallon of peanut butter? Better question, why have I almost finished it? We've still got the bunk beds and an extra bed for guests. We've even got a nice little desk situation going on now for work, you know, or reading. If I could read, that's where I'd read. I have everything I need in this place. Still don't have a private bathroom. It's not so bad sharing a bathroom, although some rambunctious young fella decided to piss all over the toilet seat today. Imagine you're taking your morning stroll to the shared bathroom to sit down, take a dump, you open the door, toilet seat's covered in urine. It looks like he was aiming for it. So you throw up a little note, and the note says, to whoever's pissing on the toilet seat, can you piss on the floor, too? I don't just want to sit in it. I want to step in it. This is the story of my first date with the girl from the beach. After we met on the beach, she gave me her number. I texted her, hey, it's the boy from the beach. Hey, I know. She replied, when can I take you on a date? When are you free? Today. 4 p.m. picnic, Central Park. It's a date. I packed up my picnic blanket, grabbed some picnic foods, and then I headed to the park. I'm a traveling man, made a lot of stops all over the world. And in every port, I own the heart of at least one lovely girl. I made it to the park. Now I just gotta find a place to set up the picnic. Could do the rock, there's people on the rock. How about over here? This looks promising. Guys, I found the best spot in the park. All forest, and then boom, skyscrapers. Now all I gotta do is set this up. Ready? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I really thought this would look more romantic, and it just doesn't. I'm currently at a massive water park. Look at the size of this thing. You start up there, loop around, come down this way super fast and up a giant wall. I'm gonna see if one of the lifeguards will go with me. I got a double, do you wanna go with me? Come on, don't act. Come on. I'm about to go to a modeling casting call. Tommy Hilfiger. I'm not sure what you wear to one of these things. So this is how I dress myself. I got my musical production t-shirt, blue jeans, some dope kicks. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what we're gonna do up there, but I'm excited. Come on, it's gonna be fun. How hard is it to land a modeling gig? It can't be that hard. I was so confident. Then I walked through the elevator doors and was surrounded by the most handsome men I'd ever seen. Every five minutes, a new guy would pop out of the elevator. That's my reaction to these guys. They'd be carrying a skateboard, chiseled like Greek gods. You know, here I am looking like I'm about to coach a little league team. I, I, they didn't even want to talk. They didn't want to associate. I can understand. They called my name. I got up, took some pictures, and then the lady asked me something I was not expecting. I had more than one person tell me that my hair was starting to look yellow. Purple shampoo will change my life, they say. Let's test it out. Oh, it is purple. I don't know why I did not expect it to look like paint, but this straight up looks like paint. Water in the hair, and now we froth. <laughs> oh, this feels kind of nice. Maybe I should work at a hair salon. Now it just says to wait five minutes. Um, so check in in five, baby. It's been five minutes, time to rinse. Oh, that's hot. Did it work? Um, maybe I just need a bit more. It is currently 4.51 a.m. Axel, what are you doing up at this hour? I'll tell you. I wanted to see the sunrise from the beach. There's a beach in New York, so we're biking out of the city to find it. Had to stop to tie my shoes. I'm about to haul ass. Continue straight onto the bike path, then continue onto Brooklyn Bridge. We're heading over to Brooklyn Bridge now. I have a really out of the sunrise. I'm a little bit out of breath. Wait for me, son! So this is Brooklyn. It's pretty nice, actually. Only 11 more miles to go, 
and the sun rises in 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. That's the beach on the other side of that bridge. That's the beach. Yes, 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 yeah. There's really only one thing left to do. Go for a dig. Draco Malfoy with my blonde hair. Don't call me Draco. I'm gonna buzz it off. I'm gonna buzz it off. I don't want to hear another word. Hey, Draco. Shut up. I'm about to go to a modeling casting call for Tommy Hilfiger. So I didn't get the modeling gig. That's okay. Look at the height difference. Of course I didn't get picked. But I am at the Tommy Hilfiger fashion show. We got a camera. We got people, celebrities. Hi, Chris Jenner. I love being behind the scenes. I feel the energy, the crowd, the movement, front row, all these people. Who's having a good night? That's fashion, baby. Lots of energy. All right. Tonight, I'm at Universal. And that was Universal. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Follow me. We got velociraptors and stegosaurus. I can't even name, but my god, they'll rip you apart. It's wonderful, it's a theme park, there's rides, everyone's been happy. How are you living? Right? You ever seen Chris Patty? He's a handsome man. This week, I get to go to Playlist Live in Florida. I'm pretty sure everyone there is going to be wearing t shirts, sneakers, but me? I got something special picked out. I always wanted a job where I had to wear a suit, I didn't know it'd be as a TikToker. I straight up look like I own a casino. No, I, I look like I robbed the casino. Plenty of flex in these joints, too. You know what I need? I need room to wiggle. So that's the blue suit. Not bad. I like it. But we gotta try the brown. Sorry, that was kind of harsh. But take a look. I even got these cool boots. I think these go with the fit pretty well. Black boots? Don't say nothing about my ankles, all right? It's a, it's a deformity. It's a problem. I feel like when I put this on, I transform into another person. Like a salesman, an Italian salesman. What do you need? I got you. You need something. You need a car? I can get you a car. You need a plane? I, I can get you a plane. I got you. Whatever you need. You need a hot, fresh meal? I'm there for you. I'm your guy. 100%. Anytime, any day, any moment of the week. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. I'm your guy. Either this is a really good idea, or people are going to make fun of me. I don't know which it is. If you're going to Playlist Live this Friday, just look for the guy in the suit, <laughs> okay? I'm about to go see Bullet Train in theaters. All I know about it is that there's a really fast train and Brad Pitt. I feel like that's all I need to know. Already got my candy. Mike and Ike's M&M's and off-brand gummy bears. Got the tickets, Bullet Train baby, headed downstairs into the basement. This is the first time I've been to a theater in the basement before. It was rated R, so they stuck us down there. I'm headed towards the doors, open those bad boys up, the theater's empty, just how I like it. Also, new Keanu Reeves movie, John Wick. You bet your ass I'm gonna see that. I don't wanna see him just throw a guy off a balcony. Even better than I was expecting. Just wait for this review. Well, there certainly was a train. This was an absolutely wild ride. Beyond the obvious high-speed locomotive, this fic-filled story was filled with non-stop action. Sword fights, gun fights, venomous snakes, and a long-haired, slightly spiritually conscious Brad Pitt. From the cameos, to the CGI, to the goofball lines, this train movie delivers at every stop. I just finished my first musical. That's the last one, baby! Last show! We're done! It's over! And now I'm sad as hell, man. The only problem with doing projects like this is you grow to love each other so fast, and you become a family. And then you do the show, and all of a sudden, boom! It's over. Everyone moves on to the next thing. I think it's important to enjoy it, to know you're in the good old days while you're in them. To anybody that thinks they want to do theater, do it! It is the best thing in the world. It's better than you could ever imagine. To the Rock of Ages cast and crew, don't stop believing. Don't stop, don't stop.
What time is it? It is 253. 253 a.m. We just finished our first show. How was it? Come on. Um, um it was really fun. It was crazy. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> Bob Bartlett is one of the greatest entertainers of all time. He's been on radio, he's been on TV, he's been on Broadway. He's worked with Eddie Murphy and Robin Williams and Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter. And for some reason, he came to coach our musical. He came to rehearsals. He gave us acting advice. He even gave us these little pins with his face on them. Look at that, the Rob father. We were so excited for him to see the show. But then the day before our show, he went to the hospital. Hello, my beautiful, perfect darlings. Welcome to the VIP suite. I so wish I could be there. You guys are so ready. You're so, so ready. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Just kick some ass and enjoy every minute. Do it for me. If you can't do it for yourselves, do it for me. This one's for the Rabio. I graduated college at 19 years old. Here are five things you should do in your first semester. Number one, show up on time. Take the class, meet your professor. If it's an online class, send them an email. Introduce yourself. They are valuable people to know. Don't skip. You're literally paying to be there. Go to class. Number two, eat right. My first semester, I had a meal plan. 24-hour dining hall right below my dorm room. I'm talking fresh pastas, fresh vegetables, meats, seafoods, pizza bar, also a dessert bar that was like 40 feet long with every cookie and cake imaginable. I'm not saying don't eat cookies and cakes. By all means, eat your desserts. Just maybe try munching on a pepper first. Number three, go to clubs and events. Your school will undoubtedly have all sorts of student activities going on. I'm talking about dance classes, workout groups, investment clubs, public speaking groups. Do not make the mistake of thinking you're too cool for these. The coolest thing you can do in your entire life is take advantage of every opportunity you're given. Go to the clubs. Number four. Be who you want to be. If there were ever a time to reinvent yourself, this is it. You are walking into a place where nobody knows you yet. You can be whoever you want to be. You can be confident, well-spoken, passionate, excited. You have the power to change. You are brand new every day. Be the best version of you. Everyone else will think it's the only version that's ever existed. Number five, party. All right, dance, jump around a little bit, steal a traffic cone, jaywalk, whatever you gotta do, drink responsibly, okay? This is the time for you to be young, for you to make mistakes, for you to learn from them just as quickly as you made them. You don't need to have it figured out. You just need to know that you're on the right path. Do not forget that you are young and time is on your side. All right, good luck. You don't freaking need it. It is currently 5 p.m. I'm in the middle of a forest. I want to run to the lake. I can do that. I just gotta follow this trail. Let's go. This almost feels more dangerous than running in New York at 3 a.m. Like if I fall out here, who's gonna hear me? Ah, oh, 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 nards. Someone call somebody. Oh, I really thought the lake was closer. We've been running for a while. You know, maybe we should just slow down, take a breather. Why don't you relax? You gotta catch up now! On the other side of that hill lies the lake. Ha! Let's go! Let's go! dream dorm room for less if you thought i wasn't an interior designer just wait for this blank wall not anymore poster wall wood floor not anymore rug floor to top it all off spinny chair <laughs> it's also just a chair but it also spins look at the base on that thing that's high quality that's some good metal you know if the world economy crashes we could melt that down and sell it and where'd i get it from walmart good luck Go to class, call your parents, and if your dorm has one of those weird extra long twin mattresses, you know where to get your sheets. Walmart. Good evening. 
It's my sister's birthday, and I have been tasked with decorating her birthday cake. We've got a couple different frostings to choose from. We've also got these tips for decorating. We are about to get Cake Boss up in here. It is my sister's 21st birthday. I'm thinking something 21-year-old themed, like, uh, Shawty 21! Let me see some ID. Hit it! So what? So what? Who really cares anyway? Mm. Soft, moist, chocolate, crunch, cream, vanilla, red, green, pink, purple. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> guys it's Axel Weber today's my birthday just got this t-shirt as a gift from my brother there he is and that's his girlfriend right there what a pretty gal okay <laughs> oh and there's my sister okay <laughs> love your family respect your family hang out with them because you never know time passes so quickly these days have a fantastic weekend bye oh this is my childhood bedroom by the way look at my bunk beds see <laughs> very on brand bye guys where are you going <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Neither can Dad. <laughs> hey, hey. You brought me so tired. <laughs> and neither oh. can Zachary. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey, Axel, can I get a sip of that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks, man. Yeah, anytime, man, for sure. A drink up. Hey, guys, it's Axel. I'm backstage. All right, this is the suit I wear on stage, except there's a little something different about it. If you notice, the back, it's all Velcro. It rips away. If I yank hard enough, it tears off. I'm about to do this. Yank it off in front of a hundred people on stage. Right now. Get your hat! You want to hit me? Axel, Franz is a German boy. I'm in my first musical. This is the theater. We've been doing it. We've been doing four shows. This is our fifth and final show. Come check out the backstage through the curtains here, right this way into the beautiful, the, this is behind the scenes. This is where we set up all our props here. We've got fake money. I handed out to a very greedy mayor. Fogmaster 5000. Here's a little set. Very beautiful place here. Traffic cones for a nice scene right this way. Here's the cast. Right here, Hello, mayor, Hello. rockers, dancers. Rock. There's my love interest right there. She the hates boss. me in her life, it's terrible. <laughs> Come this way, down this way. Here we've got the guy's side. That's the girl's side, it's the guy's side. What's up? What's up? This is the bro's side hey, where we up? hang out, it's where we do theater. Yeah, so Hi. Bad. No big deal. Come this way. Come on. So let's say we had to do a quick change, like super fast. We come through this hallway. Run. Come on, hurry. We gotta get to the other side. Hey, the audience is waiting for us. Oh, well, there's people out there, but we'd go this way. We'd go around. Sorry. Sorry, that's fine. We got shut down. There's people out there watching. Um, listen, you want to do theater? You want to go out there? You want to explore the arts? Explore yourself? Your heart? Chase your dreams. Follow your heart, okay? Just finished our first show of the night. We have another show at... What time? 9, Nine, Nine p.m. We're Let's in the back room. Go. That's my papa. That's the narrator. There's the lead of the show. We're having a lot of fun. Why? Because it's theater. Why? Because it's theater. Oh. Hey guys, just finished my first musical. <laughs> Someone came and gave me flowers. Thank you to everyone that came out. It was so much fun. There's the crew. We just finished our first show. It was so much fun. We had fun oh so I've been taking the train a lot back and forth to rehearsal in Long Island and every time I take it at night it's practically empty. Where are the people? This is the train to Where are the people? 
<laughs> so this is how to entertain yourself on an empty train. You can dance. You can just kind of explore. See, look at this. It's like a little nook. Ooh, this is a nice seat. Okay. Where is the cushion? <laughs> you can work out. You can pull that. <laughs> no. Tempting. I shouldn't. You could go between the train cars. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like the Polar Express. Hold on, there's a bathroom? <laughs> hey guys, it's Axel Weber. I am Franz, the German boy, and my first musical production this Friday. Come check out the theater that we're doing it in, okay? We're walking through the front door. Oh, this is my mic, by the way. Real mic. Walking through the front door, we got snacks loaded up. All the candy you can buy. See Sour Patch Kids down there. Now we'll go to the real theater. Right this way. Through the doors to the place of art where dreams are born. <laughs> Boom. Check this place out. A hundred seats, maybe more than that. Here's the stage where we're going to be dancing, singing. Here's the cast and crew. Everybody's very excited. Look at the excitement on that face. <laughs> Terrified, but so excited. Uh, this Friday. This Friday. Uh, Link in bio. My room is in desperate need of a makeover. Watch me transform this place with the swipe of my hand. <sighs> yeah, I built that desk myself. Desk, 50 bucks, Walmart. Touch screen computer, 169 bucks, Walmart. Reading lamp that can also charge your phone, 24 bucks, Walmart. It's back to school season and Walmart has everything you need to make this semester a productive one. I want to say congratulations to those of you starting your journey in college. Listen, it's going to be a great time. You're going to have an absolute blast, all right? Get out of your comfort zone. Meet new people. Try new things. Join new clubs. And if your roommates ever get too noisy, put on your noise-canceling headphones. 50 bucks. Walmart. I just went on a first date with a girl who had a British accent, like a real British accent. Your accent's genuinely one of the worst I've heard from an American. We got Chick-fil-A. <laughs> wow. We went to Central Park and I climbed a rock. I can't see him, he just ran up the rock. The fucking mad lad. She even gave me a friendship bracelet. Thank you. <laughs> She's gone now. Got on a plane, flew back to Europe. Does she want to see me again? I can clap with my feet, mate. It is currently 2.05 a.m. in New York City, and I'm looking for a building to climb. These buildings just won't do. How's a guy going to climb this? I don't know about that. We're just looking for something climbable. Come on! been running for a little while and still have not found a building. Why is it so hard to find a rooftop? Do you see that? That's climbable. That's climbable. Up close, it's a bit taller than I thought, lads. I was about to climb, but then security showed up. He was playing it cool. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm not looking at you, man. I'm just eyeballing this fence. This is a nice fence. But I knew it. He was there for me. Watch him turn back around. Boom. <laughs> you ain't slick. I caught you. But... No building climb tonight. But rest assured, we will try again. After all, the best views in life are free. Well, you can 